What's up? October 30th. Watching the sunrise. It's pretty, pretty chill. Came out here this morning. It's really cold though. So I got some warm water and I was too lazy to put anything in it. I'm just like, let's just enjoy some warm water. Enjoy right now. Doesn't have to be anything special. Come on. It's a sunrise. Any sunrise is amazing. And the whole atmosphere of the mornings are just so different and peaceful. Anyways, what I was thinking, what I came here to share, what I learned from a warm cup of water, just hot water, you can learn from anything. So when you breathe in, the air is cold around your face. And then when you breathe out, it's warm. When you put more air out and give out to it, it warms your face. Just kind of applies with life. You can take from it, and it's great. But if you want your face to be warm, you breathe out, you put more out. So you can take from life, but the more you give out, the more it will support you. <laughs> Both is good. Both is so so necessary and to be able to put out you have to take in you can't just keep putting air out like you know as the flow both ways it goes in and out in and out so you give and take give and take and that's the circle of life when i took little sips it weren't be up but when i took too big of sips too fast and jumped right in it, it would burn me Taking little bits at a time. You don't have to go all in. You know, I might get burned. You learn from that. <laughs> you learn from the burns. That's just how it is. Um, and then, once I finish, yeah, let's see. As time goes on and the coldness around me affects the water, cools it off, then I'm able to drink more and more in larger amounts i'm able to take in more and more and with life we grow and grow and we're able to take larger amounts of things as time goes on if we're patient then it won't burn us <laughs> um once we're done or just while we're drinking <laughs> you feel all warm and cozy inside it's still freezing outside but the outside coldness the more warmth you take in the warmer you are because I waited and I was patient for this warm water morning thoughts for the win <laughs> if you really think about it you can I'm like wow you can just learn so much from little things like this just your own thoughts your own, your own self teaching you allowing yourself to hear yourself like quieting all the outside noises sitting with your own thoughts. I think that's important. So you can talk to yourself, see what your thoughts are saying, what they have to teach you, if you're listening to them or not, whether you should or not, whether you want to. Are they saying good things or bad things? Well, not necessarily good or bad, just noticing them, being aware of how you feel towards them, things that make you feel good, better, or not. Are you even able to sit with yourself and your own thoughts? Or are you always looking for distractions? Um, I know I've done that sometimes. I'll be upset or at unease with something. You try to distract yourself with external things because maybe you're, you're avoiding something. You don't want to face a piece of you. You have this feeling like nagging at you and are you going to listen to it or just try to ignore it and when the time comes are you able to sit with yourself and feel at peace are you happy with being by yourself um do you know yourself all of these are important questions to ask because we're constantly constantly in the influence of other people and what's going on around us everyone else's thoughts beliefs just ideas of how to be so yeah just think about that it's so cool i just love learning because sometimes like i speak from experience many times where just recently 
I was avoiding myself and I didn't want to be alone to feel just thoughts and feelings. I didn't want to face it, but sometimes you need to. I'm not saying other things are bad too, like it can be nice getting other perspectives and having some fun here and there. Just getting different outlooks of the world, people, things, things to do. So it's all part of the process. Just are you being aware of that with our thoughts and feelings? Something we need to feel and face to allow it to flow through us. Like the water I just drank. We need to let it flow through us our thoughts and emotions like water when we re resist those things when we try to push them away and not face them they get stuck then you're not allowing it to move through you when you are facing those things it's important to be honest and not judge yourself let yourself feel those things and experience that but not being so prone to reacting and feeling certain ways according to other people so much like if someone says you're dumb are you gonna let that make you sad and go cry about it like it's up to you how much you're willing to let those external things affect you just know that your emotions your thoughts is not always yourself whatever emotions and thoughts you're having they are not you so you need to be the one allowing yourself to move through those things but not attaching onto them and not identifying yourself with them if that makes sense so just something to think about morning thoughts and there's the sunrise it's still not really risen but it's good yeah that's all i have for now so peace out <laughs>